Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 21, Manual Punch Tool Part 2. As I mentioned in Part 1 of the Manual Punch Tool, you'll find it under the Home tab unless you have placed it in your Quick Access Toolbar so that it's always visible. So uh, when you do grab it, uh, you can select, and we're going to select the straight block uh, tool. And when you open it up, you notice that the manual punch tab appears above attributes, and it tells us that the default is a satin stitch. So uh, we're going to go top, bottom, top, bottom top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, and to end it out on the second or the bottom, uh, we're going to double click to complete the stitches. Now you notice when you lay down the stitches, it, they are laid down in blocks of stitches. We're going to get our select tool and choose the edit tool, and you can see that uh, we can move these uh, edit points around. We can also choose them and right click them and change them to a curve. So I'm going to right click it, change it to curve, right click it, change it to curve. You can do this on both sides and also uh, if you have a lay it down in curves and you want it to be a straight, you can also do that. So that's a nice way of uh, changing, uh, you can change it around like that. You can use these little uh, bars to uh, change the angle of the curve. Now another cool thing you can do, and I uh, do this a lot when I'm creating fur, is I'm going to go to my select tool and I'm going to go over to sewing attributes over here and I'm going to go down, you have to be in the expert mode, not the beginner mode, and it says feathered edge. Remember I said top bottom so we could keep straight the uh, top and bottom of the stitch? Well that's the feathered edge. I changed the default. The default is, uh, is 3 point, uh, centimeters, but I'm going to increase that to a really deep feather. And this is a handy, we can go even a little more than that. This is a real handy thing to use if you're doing uh, fur, for instance. Um, and since I already have it, I'm going to grab the manual punch tool and we'll check do the curve this time. And I'm going to go top, bottom, 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 top. Double click. I'll do it one more time. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Double click. And let's see what that looks like in realistic preview. You see how it lays down and it looks like uh, fur almost. Now if you were doing real fur uh, on a design, you would probably want the density to be much, much thinner than that and maybe have the uh, feathered line more or less. But always keep in mind that whenever you're using the manual punch, you do not want, if you get your measure tool, and I think it's also under the home tool, you get your measure tool, you don't want your length of the stitch to be any longer than 10 millimeters as shown in the bottom left hand corner uh, we just get a that's way too long but I was using that for demonstration so you'll have to use a shorter length if you're laying down stitches for fur. One more thing about when doing uh, fur uh, you probably want to have the edges feathered on both sides uh, so you'd have to go back to your sewing order select the first one or the second, it doesn't matter which order you do it in, and go back to your sewing attributes and check the bottom for the feathered edge. And I'm going to increase that also to at least five or, or better. And it will change that and we're going to check the next one and go to the feathered edge and check the bottom. And we want it to be a pretty wide feather. And the last one, I'm going to check the feathered on the bottom, increase the length of the feathering. Now you'll notice when we go to realistic preview, you get a much more natural uh, fur type effect. 
Uh, also remember, uh, as I mentioned, you want to decrease the density when doing fur as well. Uh, you, probably about 3.5 because when you start laying these row upon row of manual uh, punch uh, blocks on each other, it, it can get very thick or bulletproof as we like to say. Uh, so you want to decrease the uh, the density. About 3.5 is really all you need. And that gives a looser, more natural uh, fur type appearance. 